Today we're going to show you how to do an M56 valve cover on an M54 engine out of an E46 3 Series BMW. We're going to show uh, the different gaskets, uh, miscellaneous things, the new quill pack conversion. Uh, we've already done some of the wiring, but uh, we'll walk you through this stuff and uh, hopefully we'll learn something. Alright. Alright, we're going to show you, this is the M56 valve cover. We're going to be, it's got a new quill packs and harness. And then we're going to be unhooking all the bolts around for the valve cover. Unhooking all six coil packs and the harness over. And we're going to be doing some cutting and soldering on this piece over there for the ECU. So let's get started. Okay, we took off, there's a bolt on each one of these here and up here, ground on each end. And undo this wire here off of the 8 millimeter nuts that are on those. It's 10 millimeter for each valve cover bolt. And these are real easy to get off. Just pop this little clip up and then pull the plug right out. Coil pack will come right out. Now time to get the valve cover off. Okay, you're going to notice the ground strap is 8 millimeter nutted on there. It'll be nutted like that on the same side, but it's an 8 millimeter on top, and then a 10 millimeter will come out on each end looking like this. That'll screw down into the head, and then so that way the valve cover will come off. So if you're having problems taking these off, you think you got everything? Just always make sure to double check yourself. Okay, we've got everything out. There's going to be, look like there's going to be a nut inside of each of these. But you don't need to take those out. They do not hold the valve cover on. Now Blake's going to take the valve cover off. Blake's got the old one out now. This is what she looks like inside. She is definitely not the cleanest, but she's got 140,000 miles on it, so. 150 last week. I guess 150. <laughs> but uh, now we're going to clean up 
the, where the old gasket sat and get ready to put the, the new valve cover on. All right, we've got M54 plastic cover to your right and the M56 on the left. Uh, I did already change the pan outs. Uh, you can get that information in other how-to videos. Uh, it's real, real simple. Most of the colors match and whatnot. Uh, so basically, all that we have left uh, as far as preparing this, uh, as far as wine goes, we're going to switch. This is the M56 uh, connector and M54. They're slightly different. So we're just going to cut these and not use butt connectors as other people do. We're going to solder them. So let's begin. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the original white M54 harness that goes to the car. The black is M56. So very simply, we're color matching and soldering, and then this shall be good to go. got our soldering done. Gonna properly uh, insulate these and get it on the car. Okay so we've got our uh, final product. It's not made to look pretty. It's a cheap car but you get the point. Uh, I will point out that one <laughs> the M56 and M54 harnesses one side is tin copper the other isn't. So I want to stress you know Soldering is going to be your best bet to protect us from the environment. Um, we could use heat shrink, but this is the final product and this is what we're happy with. It's going to work fine. Alright, we've uh, set the uh, gasket in place. You've got to RT do a light, kind of a pea-sized uh, drop of RTV in all of these seams on all four front and back. So we've set the gasket in place and the theory is this will make insulation so much easier than I've seen in other videos. Okay, we're going to do a light coat of uh, RTV, just, I mean, nothing, just a very slight amount to hold this gasket in place. Just don't, do not use a lot or you're going to have fun later if you ever take this off. But this is just to hold it in place, like I said, when we go to set this guy on the engine. Man, that's on there. You can't dispute that. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go ahead and put the valve cover on the car.
All right, now we've got it on there. Now we're gonna do all the tightening and plugging everything in and see what she's gonna do. By the way, uh, our trick worked great. It's best to do the, run the bead, set the gasket in place, do the RTV job on the inside that like we suggested and others did. So uh, it just laid right on beautifully. Cap, you wanna talk about the cap? As far as this cap, there's a lot of misinformation on Facebook, YouTube. Do not try to take this off. It is not replaceable. You cannot find this new. Again, do not remove this cap. I worked around it. The uh, internal parts are replaceable, but unless you find a used cap on eBay, uh, I wouldn't recommend purchasing this cover without a cap. All right, we are about ready to start torquing stuff down. We've got the vacuum hose for the catch can hooked up. We've got the ground straps hooked up on there. And now we're going to start torquing and then we're going to plug in the coil packs that we have laying over there. Now Blake is going to go ahead and install all the coil packs since we've got everything torqued down now. As you can see they just snap, I guess they snap or just set in, I guess if you will. That's definitely They take some force evidently. They're new, what do you expect? And we did reuse the old plugs. Since they only have 5k on them. If that. Okay, everything feels properly tight. No bolting down. Let's get these connected. Uh, easiest way. To identify these is uh, all the brown ground are on top. Very simply, plugs in, plugs in, and the cover folds down on top, snaps down. Very simple. Something anybody can do at home when it comes to switching on an M56 valve cover or coil packs. That is a beautiful piece of automotive salvage history. All right, now I think we're ready to give it the old fire up. All right, Blake has ran also the connectors. One plugs in there, 
other plugs in there coming in from the harness just for future reference for you guys that's once we most of what we soldered okay so uh as far as these washers uh instead of using the nasty old stuff uh, we use the existing m54 bolts for the valve cover and uh we purchased these uh grommets off of ebay they're like eight bucks for like a 15 pack um we did torque all of these aspect as you saw but again uh well these are 3 8 uh grade 8 washers just for some bling factor so uh we'll get this guy fired up all right now it's the moment of truth we've got everything hooked up you know plugged in torqued down everything that needs to be done so now it's time for Blake to start the car guys there was no leaks that came through I didn't see anything coming out the sides or the back or the front or anything like that nothing coming through the spark plugs um, so this looks like it's gonna be that's how you're gonna that's how you end up doing uh, an M56 to M54 valve cover swap so this is Derek and Blake from the DB garage peace okay.